Hello, hello, hello. This is your girl, Shanadra, with Let's Dig Deep. Getting to the root of things, our topic for today is too busy looking for a celebration instead of a confirmation slash confrontation. Yes, it doesn't make sense when you hear the topic, but we're going to dig deep into it. So we're going to go with... Um, Proverbs, the third chapter, verses five through seven. And it reads, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding, but acknowledge him in all your ways, and he shall direct thy path. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. So, now, uh, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. That does not mean um, trust in the job. Give you an example. You you pray to the Lord for a job. You get a job. Now, and you didn't confirm. Remember, the, the topic is too busy looking for a celebration instead of a confirmation slash confrontation. You didn't confirm that with God. You didn't confirm, is this from you or... You know, you asked for the job and the first thing that came to you, you thought, oh, this got to be from God. Oh, you know, boom, boom, boom. You didn't acknowledge him. You didn't say, thank you, Lord. You didn't confirm it with him. You know, where do you, you know, lead me in the path that you should go, that I should go since you um, granted me this job. I'm so appreciative to this. Um, I'm not going to lean to my own understanding. I want you, Lord, to lead me in the path that I should go. But no, nope. that's what you should have done. But what you do, you look for that celebration. Too busy looking for a celebration. You get the job. You don't even remember God at this point. You get on the phone because you want that celebration. You want people to celebrate the fact that you got a job on your own. You went through the interview. You got the job. You, 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 you. So you are calling everybody for that celebration of you not God, of you and what you did and how you got the job. So you're calling everybody, yeah, I got a job. Oh, yes, paying $15, $20 an hour. Uh, I, I'm going to be working 40 hours a week. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Uh, next year, I'll probably be able to get a house because I done already calculated it up. I can see uh, since now I know that I can make this much money. I know that... Um, now you this, you ain't having faith in God. You you having faith in that job. Now that you done mapped it out, now that they done told you how much you're gonna make per hour, you know how many hours a week, so you done calculated how you was gonna get to from point A to point B, C, D, and L, E, F. So you lean to your own understanding. That's why he said, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Right after he says that, don't trust in that job, trust in the Lord. With all thine heart, not the job, the Lord. That's not trusting in God. Then, not only did you start putting your trust in this job, you start leaning to your own understanding, coming up with your own plan and your own thinking. You never acknowledge God. You never say, oh, God bless me with this job. You never acknowledge me. He said, acknowledge me in all your ways. That's number three. So you didn't do none of this. Then, number four said, and he shall direct thy path. And do not be wise in your own eyes. So you skip through all of this. He put these steps to direct, to help you. He already know, okay, it's not going to look right under your own understanding. But that's why I'm asking you to trust me with all your heart. Do not lean to your own understanding. My thoughts are not your thoughts. So don't lean to your own understanding. And acknowledge me in all your ways. You go to total left field. Then you done bragged and got that celebration from everybody else that you got this job and whoop de whoop de whoop. And now you getting hit. Now, you know, and you done left God. You know, you told God, basically, I got this. I'm doing this. It's me, me, me. I, 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 I. I got the job. I did this. I, I, I. So you love God. You love God out. So God like, okay, I gave you the free will to do that. 
do that. You just won't have me with you, but do that. That's what you want to do. Do it your way. Period. So you go off and then storms start coming your way. He calls the storm like he did with John. And the storms is because of you. You caused your own storm due to your disobedience and you not following the steps that he gave you, the instructions that he gave you to do. So you decide to take it in your own hands and do what you wanted to do and rebel against God. And now there's storms coming your way. Now your kid's sick, you done got sick. Now the job talking about, uh, they're about to fire you. Now what happened? Because you was about to get a house and you was about to do this and you, 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 you didn't acknowledge God, you didn't give thanks to God, you didn't do none of that. You, 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 it was all about you and what you was gonna do but now you hear, oh God, now you want to look at God. Oh God, I don't know what to, you blessed me with this job. And, oh, you didn't ask if that was my blessing, if that was a job, a blessing for me. As soon as you got the job, you took it upon your own self and went to your own understanding that I told you not to do. You did everything out of, out of the order that I told you to do it in. And now you want to come to me and blame me for this? No, unacceptable, unacceptable. Just the same as we do with our kids. They want, uh, we give them a piece of candy. And we tell them don't get no more candy. You have to ask first. Or you get another piece of candy, ask first. That's it, that's all you have to do is ask first. So, instead of them asking, they go sneak a piece of candy. I'm giving candy an example because we just got over with this little, you know, whatever, Halloween, whatever you want to call it. So, you tell them not to give another piece of candy, get another piece of candy, unless they ask you first. So, they have to ask first before they even touch the candy. So, because you already get granted them, you know, one piece of candy. But they want more. But you tell them if you want more, you have to ask first. So instead of them asking, they decide to sneak and get one without asking, without confirming with you if they can have that piece of candy. They didn't confirm nothing with you. They didn't come to you with it. So you could tell them if they can or can't. So they decide to take it in their own hands and sneak the candy. Well, just so happened you decide to walk down and, you know, because you're just busy doing what you're doing, you decide to walk down and they try to hurry up and stuff it because they knew that they weren't supposed to be doing it. And they never asked you if it was okay. And they decide to hurry up, stuff it in their mouth, they get choked, and now they're, it's stuck in their throat. Now, had they had permission, they wouldn't be trying to rush or you know, hurry up and stick it in their throat or, you know, try to hide it. Um, but since they didn't ask, so now they are, you know, screaming for you. Mama, help, 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 help. Help me, I keep breathing, it's stuck, it's stuck. And you're like, what's stuck? It's stuck. You're like, tell me what's okay, it's stuck, it's stuck. So you help them out. Just like God, even though we get ourselves stuck in something, God still helps us. He's like, oh, I already knew you was going to call me. I caused that to happen. I caused that storm. While you was blaming the devil and you don't understand and all, I caused that storm. Because you thought that you could do stuff without me. And I just wanted to let you know you can't do nothing without me. You can't even wake up without me. But anyways, back to the story. So you help your kid out. Even though they was wrong, even though they snuck the candy, you still help them get it out. Now they done suffered because they like, oh God, they think they better die. You know, please help me, help me, help me, help me. So you help them and you get the, the candy. You see that it's candy. You're like, oh, you a sneaking candy? Yeah, yeah, but I never want to eat candy again in my life because I thought I was going to die. Woo -dee -woo -dee -woo. So they got the revelation basically, you know. But that's the same thing that we do with God. We get ourselves stuck in a situation. We get the job. 
we decide, oh, well, I'm going to do this, this, and that. We never consult with God. He said, trust in the Lord and uh, with all your heart. Then do not lean to your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways. And he shall direct thy path. So you done got the job. Now you in this storm. Now you calling on God. Oh, God, I don't know what happened. Oh, help me, help me, help me get out of this. I'm losing my job and I'm about to lose everything. Oh, God, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. And he helps you out of it. But you're going to learn your lesson. Like your kid is just not going to get out of it just because you help them get the candy out. They still going to get their butt whooped or they're going to get a punishment for being disobedient. So you're still going to be punished for being disobedient. But he'll help you out of the situation. But back to it. So you were looking for a celebration instead of the confirmation from God. First, you should have asked. He said, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. You trusted him for a job. You didn't confirm with him with um, with if there was a job that he sent you or not. So you lean to your own understanding after he said, after he says trust, he said, do not lean to your own understanding. Then you go lean to your own understanding. And he said, acknowledge me in all my ways. And then you don't even acknowledge the fact that, that you got the job from him or anything. Because really, in reality, you can't because you have never confirmed it with God. So you never acknowledge him in none of your ways because this was you, you the one that got the job, you did it, you, you, you. Then he said, and he shall direct your path. So had you said, God, is this job for me um, before you, you know, accepted the job? Um, God, if this is for me, if this is the job you have me in, um, I want you to direct my path um, in this job, and I trust you. No, you didn't do that. Then you decide to not only um, be disobedient, but then now you in a situation, you stuck in a situation, and you just want God to just get you out, and you know it'd it be all over with. No, just like our kids don't just get out of trouble. Yeah, we'll help them get that candy out, but then now you're on punishment. Now you're going have to have to suffer a little bit so you know next time don't do this. You need to seek the confirmation. Now, let's dig in even deeper because I said confirmation slash confrontation. So, dig in deeper into it. Um, give you another example. I, on the other hand, um, started my business. God told me to start the business. He told me to trust him, have faith in him. So that's what I'm supposed to do is trust and have faith in him. And he will direct my path. He said not to lean to my own understanding. So I start the business. And this is my true story. I start my business and I ask for um, assistance with childcare. They do not give me assistance with childcare. So, in my understanding, I'm thinking, this is crazy. Why are they not giving me assistance? God told me, I know God told me to do this. And I would think that he would make them, you know, give me some child care for it. But no. So, they tell me, basically, no, we told you you have to work 15, um, 15 to 20 hours a week. And that's it. And you can't make over this amount. If you can't do that, we can't help you. So now I have to make a decision. And that's why he says, show me this day whom you serve. So I can either serve them and, and receive their benefits, their so-called benefits, or I can trust in the Lord in all my heart and not lean into my own understanding. No, it don't make sense for me to just start a business without any help, no childcare, everybody's working in my family, so they're not able to help. And I'm just deciding to take this leap of faith with nothing. 
And yes, it looks crazy. And everybody told me it was crazy. Oh, you need to think about the children as if I'm not. I'm thinking about my children all the time. But they, that one was think about the children. Oh, you need to really get a job because you got kids. You can't be just doing what you want to do. I'm like, no, this is what God has me to do. I already know he wants me to start with this. No, that don't make no sense. But it's not going to make sense. Our thoughts is not his thoughts. He says that. And he told us right after he says, trust me with all thine hearts. He said, do not lean into thine own understanding. So we cannot lean into our own understanding. We must trust in the Lord. And then do not lean into, because it's not going to make sense. It don't make sense for me to do this. With no child care, no help, no nothing. And the kids are not school age or anything. But I have to trust him and not to lean into my own understanding and acknowledge him in all my ways. And he shall direct my path. And he did. He directed my path in the way that I should go. No, it doesn't look right. So you're going to get confronted with the situation and you're going to have to choose to either go the daycare route and accept their benefits or go with the promise that God has given you and go that way. So I chose to go God's way. It doesn't make sense, which he already knew it was going to make sense in my own understanding. That's why he said, trust me and then do not lean into your own understanding, but acknowledge me in all thy ways and he shall direct the path. And right after he said he shall direct your path, he, he also reiterates, do not be wise in your own eyes. So therefore, don't don't keep questioning when, when you already know what it is. You just follow me. Follow and do what I ask you to do. Follow me. So that's what he's asking you to do. Follow him. Don't lean into your own understanding. Trust in him in all thine ways. And acknowledge him and let him direct your path in the way that you should go. Because it's either, that's why he said, you can't be conformed to the things of this world. Because the world will have you to choose. It's either, hmm, faith is not by sight. It's, that's not what faith is. It's, you can't see it. So that's why you have to have faith to believe that even though you can't see, just like you have to believe that there's a God, even though you can't see him, you have to have faith to know that there's a God. So... You have to have faith beyond what you can see, beyond your circumstances, beyond what it looks like. It don't look right. No, it don't. And I, I seen what they were seeing. But at the end of the day, I had to put all my trust with all my heart in God. I could not lean into my own understanding. So therefore, when we are choosing, because I also got, um, well, you know, they ain't going to uh, help you. If you do that, so you might as well uh, get a job so they can help. I don't need their help. I don't need their help. They are not helping me. They are keeping me bondage in bondage. And that's the that's another thing. People are still in the slave mentality. When God is trying to free you, let him free you. Let him free you. Do not be like the people of Israel and tell God that you want to still be a slave. That's basically what you're saying. No, God, I want to just be a slave. I want to just work only 20 hours a week and work for McDonald's the rest of my life. And, you know, because this is a job, at least I know I'm going to get paid every two weeks. I don't know if I'm going to get paid with you because I done tried to start this business and I ain't made nothing in the first a uh, few months, so I ain't got no customers. What's up? I mean, you said that you would direct my path, but I ain't making no money. Cause you still and you still go to your own understanding. This don't make sense. I might as well get another job. Well, then you didn't have no trust. That's why I always ask people, "What are you passionate about? What are you passionate about? Passion means what are you willing to suffer for?" If it's not with you, you'll be willing to suffer at a job. Your boss will get on your nerves. Your, anybody can get on your nerves at that job. You can't stand that job. But you have suffered through all those hours you got to be at that job. But you won't suffer 
and start that business and build it up because you can't, you know, you, you don't see the, uh, the payment every two weeks. So you can't trust in God and know that he's going to make sure that you're straight. You can't see that because you lean into your own understanding. And that's why people don't make it in business this long because they get stuck in their own understanding. And they don't trust God. They start going back to their jobs and everything else because it's like, oh, this ain't working. This ain't working. I got to start a job. I got kids. God know you have kids. He gave you those kids. He knows you have kids. So what? What? what's the problem? He said, trust him. And acknowledge him and lean not into your own understanding. He said, do not be wise in your own eyes. He will direct your path. That's what he said. And I can say for a fact that he will. This has been five and a half years going on six next year. So I've had two kids as babies, not in school age and no child care, no help. The whole five years, nobody understood it. Nobody seen it. I didn't see it. I didn't know. I didn't know how it was going to work out. I didn't know anything. I just had to trust in God. I didn't know how it was, how it was going to work out. I didn't know how I, I would never for, have seen, foreseen none of it. But you would think, oh well, since she went the way of God, nothing is going to happen to her now. No, because since I'm going the way of God, I'm rebelling against the world's way. So yes, there's going to be trials and tribulations, but God will be with me. And it'll always work out for my good. So it's not that you won't go through trials and tribulations if you go the way of God, but God will be with you. There's a difference in having God with you and being struggling on your own. It'll give you peace through the storm. Peace that surpasses all understanding. So don't be too busy looking for a celebration instead of a confirmation slash confrontation. The confrontation for me was, you know, I was confronted with this situation with the child care. So that was a confrontation and not make sense. But that was slash my confirmation because it was like, okay, really that's the way I need to go. Because I need to tune me this day whom I serve. I'm not serving them no more. So that's the confrontation slash confirmation that I needed to know that I'm on the right path. That's a mind thing. That's why he said, it's the renewing of your mind. He has to renew your mind. See, the people of Israel, their minds wasn't where they, it wasn't going to take them where they needed to go. So God left them. You want to stay stuck in that mind frame? He will leave you right there. Okay, you're going to be stuck there for 40 more years. You're going to ask me that and tell me that you still want to be a slave? Let us be slave? What? And I'm trying to free you I'm telling you, I want you to be free. And you don't want to be free? You want to be slaves? No. So, I hope that that was deep enough for you guys. Um, don't be too busy looking for a celebration. When you get a blessing or anything, don't lean to your own understanding. Go to God. Get the confirmation. See the confrontation as the confirmation and acknowledge God in all your ways and he shall direct your path and do not be wise in your own eyes, but fear the Lord and shun away the evil. Thanks again, guys. Let's dig deep.